This video is literally what I wish I had before I started trading the Binance futures market because instead of just figuring things out on my own and on my live account, I would have just, you know, figured it out on a demo account. So this video is about Binance demo futures account. I'm going to take you step by step how to set it up and how to trade on a demo account so that you can practice and actually get ready for a live account. Whether you're using PC, Mac, mobile, this will work for you. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do it on a desktop computer and also how to do it on your mobile phone. I'll also leave links in the description of this video in order for you to access this account. So go ahead and click on that and let's get started. If you haven't been checking our classes, make sure that you start from class number one, where we go in depth with understanding how to trade the futures market. To get started, you really want to come to your browser that you're using and log into your Binance account. I'm already logged in here, but what we have to do is to hover over on derivatives, then click on M futures contract. This here will be your normal Binance account, but what we want is to be trading on a demo account. Now for you to access your demo account on Binance, just come to this icon here, which is your avatar and click on the markup trading. So this is what you're looking for. I'm going to click on that. Then you have to connect your account to continue. You can see that I already have an account and I already have one trade here that I've already placed on a demo account. But before you start placing trade on a demo account, you may not have a positive balance. You can see I have a positive balance of about $3,000. So you first need to fund your account, meaning you have to deposit funds. But how do you deposit funds on a demo account? Well, it's very simple. Just scroll down here and you'll find uh, this thing called faucet. Click on that. From there, you just click on the assets that you want to add and click on add asset. So once you have your demo account ready, then you can start trading. But before you even do that, you have to pass a test. So Binance will actually give you a test, which is called a quiz that you have to pass. I already covered a video with regards to all the answers of that quiz. Again, these answers may change from a year to a year, depending on when you're watching this video. For example, I know that four years ago when I started trading on Binance futures market, these were not the questions that they were asking at that time. In fact, questions that were asked around that time, they were very, very difficult. It was easy for you to actually fail the quiz. But again, if you're failing this quiz, maybe it's a sign for you that you need to first understand how to trade the futures market, which is why we have the entire course dedicated to this subject. And this course is absolutely for free right here on YouTube. Again, find that in the description of this video. Now back to the video here. How do you actually trade? Now you've passed the quiz and you added your assets. How do you trade? Let me just exit out of this and just leave one here. So you can see that I already have a trade here. So let's move on to Tomatic. But maybe if you're just getting started, if you hover over on Futures Perpetual, here you can add assets into your favorite. You can see that I have my favorite coins here. So for example, if I come here, I can search for a cryptocurrency, maybe let's say Atom, one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. If I toggle that on and off, you can see it will be added on my favorite. So I can always come here and find all my favorites. So let me show you how you place a trade. I'm going to click on Bitcoin and on Bitcoin. Let me just zoom into the chart. So I want to enter the trade when Bitcoin goes to 33,500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and select USDT and put the price, which is 33,000, 23,500. And I want to trade 25% of my account. Then I'll go along. And you can see this order was placed successfully. Now, if you come to orders, I have now two orders right here. If you come to the bottom section, you can see your open position and your open orders. These are all limit orders that we just placed and our trade history. Obviously, we only have one trade history of Ethereum and all that stuff. So if I come back to my positions, I can always come here and modify the position. For example, I can come here and put my stop loss and also modify my take profit as well. So if you're using a mobile phone, just head over to your Binance app, then click on futures. Again, this is going to be your normal Binance account. Then hover over onto these icons here on top. And this is the feature that you're looking for, which is the markup testnet. Click on that, then connect your account. And just like that, 
you're going to be directed into the demo account so that's how you trade the futures market on a demo account now click on the video coming up next where we're going to go in depth with understanding the risk and money management go ahead and click on that i'll see you there goodbye peace